Everything from protecting the lives of unborn babies to immigration and gun control. Why are Americans so divided over the big issues of our time? Republicans control the House of Representatives by a narrow margin, and Democrats narrowly control the Senate. The U.S. Congress is simply one reflection of our society as a whole. So how do we restore unity to our nation? How do we look past political differences and find moral common ground? Well, joining us to provide some thoughts on this is Southern Evangelical Seminary President Phil Jin. Judge Jin, instead of viewing Russia, China, Iran or North Korea as our biggest adversaries, those who claim to be Republican or Democrat see members of the opposing party as the nation's biggest adversary. Why is that? Well, I'm not so sure that it doesn't go back even uh, as far back as the Roman Empire that crumbled from within. And, and they may be correct in, in that we are our own worst enemies in this nation. And I think one of the reasons is that, as I've stated before, that We've, uh, as, a, as a people, tried to erase, erase what I call the God line in our uh, culture and in our society. Well, tell us what the God line is. Well, it's a, it's a common thread that, that we recognize a natural law at Southern Evangelical Seminary that, that uh, is uh, a, a moral code, uh, what have you, that actually runs through all of uh, religions, uh, particularly those who are uh, theistic uh, type religions, and particularly, uh, of course, Christianity, that allows us as individuals and as groups to um, match what we think, what we say, what we do up against this God line to determine how close we are to that God line. And as we get closer to the God line, obviously, the closer we are to each other. And as we've erased that God line in our culture, then we don't have that standard, that cohesiveness that draws us together. And ultimately, your truth is your truth, and my truth is my truth, and I'm going to try to get in control so I can enforce my truth on you before you get into control to enforce your truth on me. Well, here's an example of how that's happening. Many uh, Generation Zers think people who disagree with them are their enemies. About a third of them say they have no religious affiliation whatsoever. Now, nearly one out of five say they're either agnostic or atheist. So what impact is that having on our society or will it have in the future? Well, I, I think that's a further erasure of the God line, uh, obviously. And, and, and we've redefined the word tolerance. Uh, it used to be the word tolerance meant that you and I might have some basic differences, but yet we respected one another and could get along with one another. And, and talk about things uh, civilly. But now, uh, if, uh, if you and I don't agree on one, maybe one thing out of a hundred, then we're bitter enemies. And so that's not what tolerance is all about. In fact, uh, in reality is truth is pretty dogmatic, um, uh, particularly of that which is not true. Well, here's a truth. In Matthew 12, 25, Jesus said, every house divided against itself cannot stand. So what must we do to get beyond this division in America uh, and restore unity? Well, I, I think that we have to get back to that common ground of morality that runs through, as I indicated, all religious faiths. Uh, and we need to find um, some common ground in beliefs again, which we don't have, and which we're actually going, as you've indicated, in the opposite direction from that. Uh, and the more our faith becomes splintered in every different direction, uh, it makes it much more difficult for us to, uh, to understand enough about one another to, uh, uh, to coexist peacefully. And your seminary is doing something about this, or trying to anyway. SES has a new 10-week study series uh, for small groups and churches called Steadfast. Tell us about that, and what uh, is it? What, what are you hoping it will accomplish? Gary, I'm, I'm really excited about that uh, new program that hopefully will be available this spring for small groups. Uh, it's, it's unique in a lot of ways. Number one, it is a 10-week study that is created basically for lay people to better understand apologetics and to better understand the Christian system of truth that we have it and to be able to better explain it to those who, uh, who may be wavering or have questions. Uh, on top of that, it's free. Uh, so uh, that, that's a big deal, but it would be available to, uh, 
to churches, to small groups, to individual Bible studies, and it will include uh, the last session we'll have a real live professor from uh, our seminary to, to answer any questions that might have come up during uh, the course that were unanswered or are still open. The, uh, the other thing that's really good about it, there is a, an extra credit segment that will allow an individual to actually, by doing just a little more work, get a master's degree credit, three hours of master's degree credit toward uh, a degree at Southern Evangelical Seminary if they wish to do so. That sounds great. Thank you. Southern Evangelical Seminary President Phil Jinn, good to talk with you. Thank you for your time and setting us straight today. Gary, thank you. Always good to be with you, sir.